Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. Today in this video, I am going to introduce you guys, to the concept of, RTOS. A real-time operating system, is a very important part of embedded systems. The main idea behind RTOS is, to perform multiple tasks, at the same time. Today, I will show you, the benefit of using an OS, how to create tasks in free RTOS, and, how to handle priorities. I am using STM32 Cube IDE, and I will start by creating a project in Cube MX. I am choosing version 1 because, it is supported by majority of the microcontrollers. In the setting, leave everything as it is. Make sure that the preemption is enabled. We will use preemption based scheduling, in which, a higher priority task can take control from a lower one. You can google about it. Go to tasks and queues tab, and here you will see a predefined task. Here you will see some details about it. Its name, priority level, stack size entry function. I will explain all these, along the video. I will create one task here, and another one, in the program itself. I am going to name it as, task 2. Its priority will be normal. Stack size as 128 and entry point will be, task 2 in it. Everything else unchanged and, task is created. This is it for the free RTOS part. The rest of the setup is usual. I am also using UART to show the importance of priority levels. Let's set the clock for the maximum clock. And everything is done, click save. So we got a warning saying that, we shouldn't use SysTick with the RTOS. So go to Sys, and change the time base to any timer. I am also using these two pins as output, to demonstrate some stuff. Click save now and code should generate. Open the main.c file. First, I will explain some RTOS related things. OS thread ID, stored the unique ID of the thread. All the operations, that we will do, related to any thread, will require this ID. Next, the entry points of the thread, that we created are defined. These are basically, the main functions of the tasks. You have to write your task related code in it. Next, inside the main function, the main task is created. First, the task is defined, and then, it is created. OS thread def takes the following arguments. The first is the name of the task. Then, the entry point of the task. Then, the priority of the task. Then, the instance and the stack size. Once the task is defined, we need to create it using, OS thread create function. And after successful creation, the thread ID is stored in the relevant variable, that we defined in the beginning. 
At last, OS kernel start is called. After this point, the scheduler will overtake, and the control does not reach beside this line. I will demonstrate that in a while. If you scroll down, you will see that the entry points are defined here. Like I said, we have to write our code in these functions. I will do that in few minutes. But let me start by writing the code, inside the while loop. So here, I will try to toggle PA0, and PA1, after some delay. So, compile the code. There are no errors. Let's debug it. Choose STM32 application. We don't need to modify anything, just choose OK. Fine, let's run it and see. So as expected, there is no movement on the oscilloscope. Like I mentioned, once the kernel starts, the scheduler takes over, and the control doesn't reach the while loop. So, I will comment out the line here. So the kernel don't start. Let's run the program again. Yeah, so we have a wave with time period of around 5 milliseconds. Actually, what I wanted to do is, to generate a wave of 1 millisecond on PA0 pin. And another wave with the period of 2 milliseconds, on PA1 pin. But obviously it's not going to happen by simply writing in a while loop. So here comes the RTOS. In the default task, I am going to toggle the pin PA0, with the period of 1 millisecond. And, in the task, 2, toggle the pin PA1, with the period of 2 milliseconds. At this point, scheduler know what I want. And it's going to schedule the entire process in a way that, every task gets the time they the defined for. Let's compile, and run it. Right now, the pin is connected to PA0, and you can see that the period is 1 millisecond. Now I am switching the pin to PA1, and the period changes to 2 milliseconds. So here, both the tasks, even with a delay, as small as 1 millisecond, can run simultaneously. This is the benefit of using our TOS, over a simple programming. But obviously, this is not it. Let's see the basic most types of problems, that we face with the RTOS. Let me explain you the role of priorities now. First, I will define a function, to send some data to the UART. 
This function is supposed to run only in the default task. I will define another function to send data to UART, and this one will run in task 2. Before proceeding any further, I will create another task here. To do so, first we have to create a thread ID for the task. Then, we have to create an entry function for the task. I will name it as task 3 in it. Next, inside the main function, we have to define the thread first. So, OS thread def is used, and the parameters will be, the name of the task, the entry point of the task, the priority, instance, and at last, the stack size. Then, we will create the thread, and assign the ID to the task3 handle. And, at last, write some code in the entry function of the task. Make sure that you write everything in a while loop. These tasks are not defined to handle return, so you should always have everything inside an infinite loop. Just like the other two, I am also going to write one UART function for the third task. It's time to write our code now. So, the default task is going to send the data to the UART, every one second. And task 2 is going to send the data, every 2 seconds. Let's compile this and see, how the RTOS handles this situation. As you can see, that each task is printing every second. But this is not what we opted for. We wanted the default task to print every second, and tasked 2 to print every 2 seconds. Let's test this between the default task, and the task 3 which runs every 3 seconds. OK, as you can see, the default task prints twice, and then in the third second, both default, and task 3 prints together. Here the code works alright, because the delay is large. But what if the time delay is same for all the tasks? So here, I will use all three tasks to transmit, with the same delay of one second. Let's compile the code, and debug it. As you can see, even though, the data is being transmitted, it's not what we were looking for. Every task waits 3 seconds to transmit again. But we wanted all of them to transmit every 1 second. This happens because, they all are sharing the same UART. To avoid these situations, with the shared resources, we will use the priorities. Currently, they all have the same priorities. I will change the priority of task 2, to the above normal. And the task 1 to, below normal. So finally we have three tasks, all with different priorities, and sharing the same resource. Let's see what happens now.
As you can see now, that all three of them are printing at the same time, and, every one second. This is exactly what we were looking for. Also note that tasked 2 prints first, then default task, and at last, task 3. The reason behind this is, the task 2 priority is highest, as it is above normal, then default task, which is normal, and at last, task 3, which is below normal. So they are executed in the same order as their priorities. This is it guys. I hope you understood some basic concepts here. This was just the introduction about what RTOS is, on how to handle some basic function in it. I recommend that you read about RTOS. We will continue this series of tutorials, time to time. You can download the code from the link in the description.